Hello everyone, I'll be showing you today this Brita water filter. So it's basically a pitcher that has a filter in it to clean our tap water so it is safe to drink. And I have here filters and each filter lasts 4 weeks. I bought these water filters because I would like to save money from buying bottled water which costs around maybe if I will be drinking 3 liters a day um, that will be around a pound per day 30 pound monthly just buying bottled waters alone right and I have bought this filter a pack of six each filter would cost four pounds so I'll be saving around 25 pounds per month let's find out if it really works okay so today we'll be replacing the filter so the cartridge installed is already more than one month and it says here that each cartridge is only good for up to four weeks uh, we'll just do a water test so I brought the replacement here it's from Brita also and then I've gathered tap water okay so we have here a TDS meter so this measures the total dissolved solids in ppm or parts per million and we'll just measure our tap water okay so you could see it's 274 so what we're gonna do now is have our Brita water filter I'll just put water here and let it be filtered by this cartridge which is more than one month already so I think we'll just wait for it to be filtered so the water that we've put here passes through the filter and then come, comes out the hole in the bottom and then this water is now filtered which we will measure again later Okay, so I think we've already filtered most of the water and it's time to measure it again. We'll just open it here and then I'll remove this uh, top cover. Then we'll measure it. So the previous reading was 274. So the filtered now is 266 let me hold it so you could see it here 266 so let's compare the performance of the new one so by the way let's open our filter first okay so we'll see six filters I'll just get one so basically it's just wet the cartridge install it properly and then fill it with water let it drain and dispose the drained water and do it for two times so the third time will be okay for drinking 
so I've rinsed it now so this is just I've removed the old and so this is already new one it's just putting it in place like that and then it says a while ago that we should fill it and then drain it for two times before using so I'll just do that so I'll just throw this one and do a second rinse So I think we'll just just we'll just throw this water now. This will be the third, and it's what we will measure. So this now uses a new cartridge or a new filter and we'll measure the water quality just remove this one okay so now it's only around one hundred and fifty four Okay. So I'll be researching on how to analyze these PPM values that we've got and I will explain them to you. Okay, so I'm showing you a table here and on this table it suggests that Anything above 500 is less acceptable for drinking Basically because it has a lot of total dissolved solids and we don't know what are those That are in your water and going from 350 to 500 water quality is fair It's from 150 to 350 wherein the water is good and is acceptable for drinking actually it's the healthiest it's healthiest with regards to our cardiovascular health and going below 150 is less acceptable and even unacceptable why because we know that water contains minerals which our body also needs so filtering these minerals so basically you will just be drinking water with nothing in it that's why it's recommended to have the ppm only with greater than 150 and less than 350 but there's an exception here if you are surrounded with industrial waste and sewage where water is very polluted and you want to drink it you could filter it down to a range of 50 to 150 it's better to have less minerals but less of this pollution also okay and less than 50 is unacceptable because there's nothing in it there is a lack of important minerals which our body needs okay and looking from our reading our tap water here is already at 274 which is very good for drinking yeah so if you want to save more i think that's good already which is the water is very drinkable already but if you want to filter it down I think Brita works. It was able to bring down the PPM from 274 to 154. So that's a new filter, but if you will be using an older filter which is already 
one month old or more than four weeks you won't have significant improvement or almost no improvement our readings from 274 filtered the water and it was only down to 266 which is almost nothing okay so i think this brita filter works to bringing it down to a very good level 154 additional thing that i was able to research so the upper limit of the tds level is not more than 500 ppm so anything less than 500 is very acceptable to drinking and if the water tds level as i've mentioned is less than 100 it lacks important minerals which our body need and it may result even in hair fall and heart diseases and having the water to be less than a hundred it will make the water to to be high dissolvent capacity which means that it can dissolve a small quantity of plastic in which it is kept like the containers and this dissolve dissolved plastics can cause cancer and also reduce immunity however these recommendations are prescribed by differently by each organization so yeah so each organization may have different standards and it's only up to you which to follow but in my personal opinion i will stick with going into between the range of 150 and 350 and i will be afraid going below 100 and higher than 500 so i could say that it's safe for me to drink the tap water but it will just boost my confidence to filter it out further using the brita so you could check other filters but make sure that they don't go below the recommended um, tds level and could filter it below 500 which is recommended so others would say that we don't know what the water i mean what is inside that ppm we only know that there is dissolved solid but we don't know what particularly is it and if it is poisonous well i could say that all our water suppliers or water companies that provide water to household are being governed by health departments of our government and if ever they exceed the acceptable ppm which which that governing body had required these water companies may even be closed or penalized for it so that's my opinion so thank you for listening